Welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Valerie Jemison and I'm going to take you through my favourite science videos from the past week. Now humans and other primates clearly recognise themselves in the mirror, but researchers are finding that some birds have the same sense of self. Sandrine Kerstemont takes up the story. Researchers have shown this for the first time by placing different coloured dots on magpies' necks. The birds could only catch a glimpse of the stickers if they looked in the mirror. Here you can see a bird scratch its neck when it notices a brightly coloured sticker. Some magpies tried to remove the sticker with their beaks while others used their feet. Birds that were tagged with black spots that blended in with their feathers didn't react when they looked in the mirror. Magpies have bigger brains than other birds that allow for lots of connections between different brain areas. Researchers think this may explain why they can recognize themselves while other bird species may not be able to. Next up, if you've been waiting for a video game starring ultra-realistic jellyfish, a new technique could make your wish come true. Modelling the motion of jellyfish is a nightmare for computer animators. Not only do they have to worry about the smooth contractions of the umbrella, but they have to deal with how tentacles interact with each other and the water too. A team at the University of Tokyo tackled the problem by analysing the umbrella and the tentacles separately. They modelled the umbrella as a set of particles connected by springs. Then they represented each tentacle as a string of particles that moves like a rod-shaped elastic object. They approximated the drag created by many tentacles in water by calculating the resistance of each individual particle. Their model allows animators to estimate the number of tentacles a jellyfish will have and tweak the number as they produce the animation. It's a cheaper method and allows simulated jellyfish to move much more smoothly. And finally, democracy is held as one of the greatest human achievements. Now researchers are finding that monkeys can use it too. Sandrine tells us more. Two groups of macaques were observed for four months in an enclosed park. In a typical scenario, one animal decides to make a move. When it's between one and five meters ahead of the others, it glances back and waits. This seems to entice other monkeys to come forward until eventually the whole group follows the leader. The researchers found that any macaque in the group could become a leader, regardless of status or sex. Even young macaques could get the whole group moving. That's all for now, but you'll find plenty more stories on our website. For example, you can find out about a new technique that will allow amateur video makers to doodle on their videos. Or watch a simulation that shows running elephants are surprisingly light on their feet. See you next time.